Let's say amen again. Amen. Yeah. 
confession of the Christian faith known as the Apostles' Creed. And what do we believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From the message of come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life of the last Amen. 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 Let us bow our heads in prayer and confession. Almighty God, Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and beware our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent. And how they saw it with these youngest doings. The remembrance of them is grievous upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past. Grant that we may hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life. The honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We have sung to you. We have praised your name. Yes. We offer prayers to you. But Lord, now we need to hear from you. Yes. Open my mouth that I may speak. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our hearts when we do those things that are pleasing in your sight. We'll remind you give you the praise, the thanks, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. We thank God for all that he has done. And if you open your Bibles to the text that we have just said, Revelation 2, Verses 6 and 7. As you know, I usually give you other versions of the same text at the beginning of the message. From the New Living Translation, these words say, But this is in your favor. You hate the evil deeds of the Nicolaitans, just as I do. Anyone with an ear to hear, must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. To everyone who is victorious, I will give fruit from the tree of life in the paradise of God. Mm -hmm. New Revised Standard Version reads, Yet this is to your credit. You hate the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Yes. To everyone who conquers, I will give permission to eat from the tree of life that's in the paradise of God. From the God's word translation, it goes this way, but you have this in your favor. You hate what the Nicolaitans are doing. And I also hate what they are doing. Let the person that has the ear listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. I will give the privilege of eating from the tree of life, which stands in the paradise of God, to everyone who has the victory. Amen. From common Jewish, the, 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 the complete Jewish Bible, it says, but you have this in your favor. You hate uh, uh, the, uh, the things what the Nicolaitans do, and I hate it too. But you but who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the Messianic communities. To those who are winning the victory, I will give the right to from the tree of life which is in God's God Eden. From the message it says you do have this to your credit. You hate the Nicolaitans visit or business. I hate it also. Are your ears awake? Listen. Listen to the wind words the spirits blowing through the churches. Yeah. I'm about to call each copper to dinner. I'm spending and spreading a banquet of the tree of life's fruit, a supper plucked from God's orchard. Amen. From this scripture comes this message. Fresh revelation. Jesus gives promises to the churches. Amen. To his churches. Fresh revelation that Jesus gives promises to his churches. On this first Sunday of the month of October, Holy Communion Sunday, on this fourth day 
of October of 2020. And the, this 30th Sunday of no total in-person church gathering. Some of us are thanking God <laughs> that we didn't go get back so quick. Then mm -hmm. we finding out this virus goes from the uttermost to the topmost. Mm -hmm. It has no particular people it will say, I'm not going to get to get to. And say, I, I, I don't know about you, but I was surprised this week, past week. Again, I am definitely praying for President Trump and his wife and all of my tested positive. Mm -hmm. He's in, in a hospital now. And I always say, we pray that when people go into a hospital, they, they come out. Amen. Amen. Now I pray that they receive a speedy recovery from the Lord. Let them know that God is in control. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I ask indeed that you all will keep your distance. Wear your mask. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. I spoke to a pastor this past week who had COVID-19. Mm -hmm. He shared with me on the phone how uh, he did not know if he was going to make it. And God brought him out. Amen. And he's fine right now. So I ask that you pray for all the pastors and members that God will spare their lives yeah, yeah. and keep us healthy. Today's message is about Jesus Christ, my Lord. Our king now and soon coming king, our healer, deliverer, and savior, is still speaking to the churches. He's speaking to the church of the past called Ephesus. He's speaking to a local church now. He's speaking to you and me yeah. as a representative of the church. Yeah. He's speaking to all the churches in our neighborhood. He's speaking to churches around the city, around the state, and around uh, the total United States and all the world. He's speaking to the universal church, yeah. as we call the Holy Catholic Church. Past Sundays, uh, we see that the first church of Revelation called the Church of Ephesus got a letter mm -hmm. from the head of the church. And when you read it, take it that way, that every Sunday when we hear a message, we got a letter from the head of the church. Not, not the pastor, mm -hmm. but the head of the church. And it's read out loud that Jesus gives a play on words we said, he who has ears, we said, he who has ear, ears, let he or she hear. It's such like an alarm. For he told the church and the churches some good points. He shared the church some not so good points. Mm -hmm. Then he shared another good point. Notice that, in the, that he shared that the, that the Nicolaitans that were trying to influence the church as far as to look down at common people, look down at folk that do not have what you have. Mm -hmm. And Jesus would say, I hate that, and you hate that. Mm -hmm. And we all should hate anybody that trying to look down at somebody else, mm -hmm. knowing yeah. that Jesus died for all of us. Whatever you have, whatever color you have, whatever, whatever thing you have, he, he loves all of us. Amen. But then he, he goes into this testimony. He goes into this thing that he says that he that have an ear, and he did this to all the churches, 
all seven churches here. And the stand, he says, here before you see. Mm. Watch this. Our angle and position may be right, but we still may not have the proper ear to hear. Mm -hmm. In spiritual things, seeing depends on hearing. It says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. It says the fact that one uh, hear the word of God. Yes. John in chapter 1 first heard the voice in verse 10 and then he saw what he heard in verse 12. Mm. If our ears are dull, we cannot hear. And then we cannot hear, we cannot see. Mm. The Lord always wants you to have open ears to hear his voice. Yes, amen. That, that he may see the things according to his will, according to his way. Let me know why says the sinner's ear every day refuse to hear the voice of God. Yes. Telling them to believe in his son, Jesus Christ in the pardoning of their sins and they may be saved and go a different direction but let me know in this book the, the, the book of Revelation uh, according to this book is, is talking to the churches mm -hmm. and he's begging the churches to hear yes. the Lord speaks to each church specifically but he also he speaks by the Spirit to the churches as a whole. And he's saying, please hear. Yes. Believe it or not, all churches are dealing with the three D's that makes the church death. We talk about preacher. There's three D's that makes the church death or cannot hear what Jesus is speaking. The darkness of religion in the church, mm. the distraction of religion in the church, and the degradation of religion in the church. Mm. When you say, oh my, anytime, watch this, anytime we come to church without the light of Jesus on our hearts and minds, then the darkness of religion mm. takes its place. And many times we came to church without the light of Jesus. Without that light that we say, this little light of mine, mm -hmm. and we know that that's the light of Jesus. We came in without the light of Jesus. Yes. The darkness of religion creeped in and takes place. Anytime we come to church without Christ, the focus of Jesus on our hearts and minds, there's a distraction of religion that takes its place. Oh, how many times you came to church and you got your, your mind on Jesus and somebody's whispering to you. You say, hey, can, can, let, let me tell you something about something that didn't have anything to do with Jesus. Mm -hmm. It didn't not have anything to do with his blood. It didn't not have anything to do with his life. It didn't not have anything. We talk about this best. Mm -hmm. When we have that, the distraction of religion takes place. And anytime we come to church, Without a loving enjoyment, hear that? A loving enjoyment, knowing that Jesus is in the house. Mm. A loving enjoyment that Jesus is in the house. And that we in our hearts and minds have that, the degradation of religion takes place. Mm. We should come in and say, oh, we're going to have a good time today, but Jesus is here. Amen. But 
sometimes we do not do that. We sometimes think of everything else and not be in joy and loving that Jesus is here. Jesus is here. And you need to keep that in mind. That if you do not do that religion, and just be religious, takes place. Hmm. Too many times we came to church and let religion get in our way and we left out with religion and not with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And even though that church in Ephesus, they were doing a lot of good works. They, they did, Jesus said, you, you, you don't love me like you should. Hmm. You, 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 even though that, that you do a lot of things, you don't love people like you should. But in spite of what they were doing not so well, Jesus gave that church and other church and our church promises. Yeah. Promises. He gives promises to our church. Mm -hmm. Hear what the Spirit said. If you overcome, get the victory over just coming and make Jesus first. Make Jesus your best love. Mm -hmm. If you overcome and get the victory by coming and saying, I love everybody mm -hmm. as Jesus loved me. If you come and you say, hey, I, 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 I will give, give God my first. Jesus said, look what Jesus said. Jesus said, if you, if you do that, you overcome the religion. The religion. And really gets church serious. He said, I will give you the right to eat of the tree of life. Yeah. Which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Soon as you heard of that, some of us got to go back to Genesis. Yeah. And we thought about the Garden of Eden. And we thought about, wow, the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And we thought about how God told Adam, you can eat of any tree, but do not eat of the knowledge of good and evil. And we thought about the fact that he took both Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. And we thought about also, he said, the paradise of God. We thought about Jesus who was on the cross. Mm -hmm. He was dying on the cross. And the thief said, Lord, when you get to your kingdom, remember me. And Jesus told death to wait a minute. He told death, he told death, pause for a moment. And had the, the, the opportunity to say to that thief, <laughs> today, yeah. thou shalt be with me <laughs> in paradise. Sure that you get the 
right to eat the fruit that's from the tree of life Amen. in the paradise of God. As I close, you need to think about it as you walk day by day that Jesus has given you a promise. Yeah. I'll say right now, you're given many promises. Mm -hmm. Both unconditional and conditional. Yes. Be given us a promise that said no matter what you're going through,
with your holy Q-tips that we may hear yeah. your voice speaking to us. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray that you have a wonderful day. We pray that you walk with Jesus all the steps of the way. We'll be out there waiting for anyone that comes for a Holy Communion. Uh, we have our first Sunday school at 1 o'clock on Zoom. If you'd like to see that, uh, just text us and we'll, we'll give you the Zoom information. Praise God from whom